This is how I lost my BMW, $100,000, an additional $26,000 all in one month. Let's start with the BMW. I spent a whopping $30,000 on that car. I had zero patience to get the money that I needed for a down payment to get this, so I sold it for $10,000, making me lose 20 already that I'm not even counting. Using that $10,000 from the BMW, I went ahead and bought this truck that was $90,000 plus my $10,000 down payment, which cost me $100,000 so far, all in one month. This truck, after three months, depreciated to 60 grand. Three months, that's all it took. In the three years of driving this truck, I have never actually been a company driver. As soon as I got my license, I went ahead and I bought this truck. I have family, I have friends that are all owner ops, so that made me feel like I was more prepared for this truck to be an owner op. But what happened next that same month could have never prepared me for that month. My first repair on this truck was $26,000. It was a motor swap, my head cracked. I could have never expected that. I did not even get paid yet. I sold the BMW, I bought a truck, and my first repair was a motor swap. I did all the right things. I bought a truck under a million kilometers. I bought a new truck. I made sure it was in good condition. It looked good, was clean, but I didn't have the patience. And this is what you get. If I sold the BMW for the $30,000 that I had put into it, I would have had 10 for the truck and another 20 for the motor. And I would have been able to get away with only owing six grand for that motor. That being said, the truck price went down to 60 grand within three months. And just by selling the truck after doing the motor swap, I would have already lost 60 grand. Now, don't get me wrong. I still love this truck. I'm really happy with it, with the outcome. I think I got screwed in the price. I think I lost a lot of money in that. I think it was just wrong time, wrong place. But that being said, I do love the interior of this truck. I like driving it. I have zero hate towards it. My first year, I definitely hated it, but I don't hate it anymore. You can do all the right things that you want. You can plan the truck. You can get the lower kilometers, everything that you want. You're still gonna have repairs. Unfortunately, my first one was a motor swap, but now after that, honestly, any other repair that comes up, I'm not worried about it. But that just goes to show you can do all the right things, check off all the right boxes and still go wrong. For me to sell this truck makes no sense. I would have a complete loss. And if there's anything that you can take away from this video, learn from me, be patient and don't be scared to do it. And there's still no regret of me doing it. If I could go back in time, yeah, whatever, I would like probably change some things, but I'm not, I'm not mad with how everything happened. So at the, at the time, I was also working for a flat decking company, which completely screwed me. They didn't pay me, so that's the company that I started with. I bought the truck, started with them, motor, blue, and then I didn't get paid for... I got paid, but it was less than a normal factory job. I was getting, I was getting completely screwed, and he was taking advantage of me because I had no experience. I had my own truck, so I couldn't just jump into a company truck and get experience now. I also had a really bad license still at the time. So he, he fully took advantage of me. I'm not gonna put out the company name or anything, but so that being said, if I could go back in time and I got to do things differently, I would make sure I had a clean license so I couldn't get taken advantage of. I would work for a more established company, 100%. Someone that is actually like secure and stable I would wait for the right truck. I wouldn't just jump into buying a truck. I would listen and I would watch the market before I would just buy one. That's what I didn't do. I wasn't watching the market. I just thought this is a new truck. This is what the price is gonna be. It'll never go down in value. And I learned really fast that trucks are not actually assets in that case. I would have probably worked for a company and learned on their truck, I'd be on the road have repairs on the road, do all these things. I would figure it all out with their trucks. And they're built for that. They usually have new trucks. They usually have good trucks. And there's a lot of companies that'll hire you right off the bat. Usually even where you do training school, they'll hire you. I would also have some money saved up. Definitely have some money saved up if you are going to buy a truck, just in case you have repairs that come up because let me tell you, they sneak up on you fast. That being said, I am stuck in this truck, but I don't mind. I love it. I have zero hard feelings against it. But going based on previous videos, that's why I say you should you should probably love doing what you do. Otherwise, this would be a big burden for some of you. 
and for some of you not, but I don't know, like I don't know how you are, but I'm just telling you my experience, how I lost all this money, how I feel like I got a bit scammed a lot. I feel like I got pretty scammed, but I also don't have any hatred towards anyone for that. I'm still blessed, I'm still happy that I get to be in the truck. So don't be scared to buy your own truck and take the risks that you want. Just make sure you do your research, do what you need to do, do what you need to do and don't listen to anyone. I didn't listen to anyone, I got completely screwed. So maybe do listen to some people, definitely get advice, like go get some wisdom from others that have been doing it. But if you feel like this is what you need to do and you wanna do it, then go ahead, do it. Just make sure you're ready and set. Because if you're not, and you're like me, that's gonna be very stressful, very hard time, a very rough learning curve. And I like to learn from experience, which is not the smartest way to learn. So if you wanna learn through listening, through, so if you wanna learn from my mistakes, I strongly encourage that, and from other people's mistakes, and from other people in general, just learn from them. That is the best way to do it. But if you're like me, and you're gonna do it anyways, then go ahead and do it, don't be scared. You'll be fine, you're not gonna die. All right guys, I'll see you next Saturday.